What's going on Bills Mafia? Welcome back to the Bills Bunker. In this video, I'm gonna break down the top five breakout candidates, in my opinion, for this year's NFL season on our Buffalo Bills. We're starting off with the big 22 year old, our first round draft pick last season, Ed Oliver on the defensive line. This defensive tackle, he's gonna need to step up. He's got big question marks surrounding him heading into the season. At just 22 years old, he's got a suspension potentially pending. We need to see if the NFL is going to punish him or not. I'm sure they will for s at some point, whether it be this year or the next. A fine or suspension, we have to wait and see. In his first eight games played, so his first half season of his career, he posted only one sack. In the next three games, he proceeded to put up four, which really demonstrates how much of an impact player he can be on the defensive line. He was an absolute disruptor against Dallas on Thanksgiving, and that's what we need to see more from him on a more consistent basis. I think he's going to be an absolute animal on the defensive line. He's going to be a beast. If he can play the way he played against Dallas or Denver consistently, then he will be an impact player in the NFL for years to come. My next guy on this list is Matt Milano. In 2019, Milano posted over 100 tackles for the first time in his NFL career, and it really showed. Every time you watched the game, you saw him in on almost every tackle. He's there, or he's in just the general area of the ball. He just puts his head down and does his job. In 2018, we saw him get three picks. He, ha he didn't have an interception last season, but with the tackle stats and then the interception stats you can see that he can do amazing things in both facets of the game pass coverage and he can make the tackles you just need to see it all come together at once and that's what i expect in 2020 i expect him to be a presence in the pass game and the run game stuffing the run stopping some passes swatting them doing whatever he needs to do just expect to see matt milano improve in 2020 Matt Milano is absolutely a beast, and he's definitely a breakout candidate for this season. My next breakout candidate is Dawson Knox. Knox demonstrated he has a big playability, a very big playability. He made some great plays this year against Baltimore, Cincinnati, New England. Although the big playability is 100% there, it's definitely something that you can see. It needs to be more consistent. With Stephon Diggs coming into this offense, definitely expect Dawson Knox and Cole Beasley, John Brown, these guys to get open more. I think Dawson Knox should be doing a lot more drags or verts, verticals even, because it's just going to be hard to pick who to cover, and Dawson Knox is going to be the odd man out most of the time, I feel. Last season, Dawson Knox only brought in 56% of the passes he was targeted on, which is not going to cut it in the NFL. If Knox can be a threat in the passing game on a more consistent basis, he could actually be one of the best tight ends in the NFL at one point. And he just needs to work on that blocking as well. So blocking and consistency are the two things we need to see for a breakout season from Dawson Knox this year. Devin Singletary bursted onto the scene in Buffalo last year, rushing for over 750 yards and averaging 5.1 yards per carry. Singletary... He's quickly becoming a fan favorite in Buffalo. And as a matter of fact, Derrick Henry was tied with Devin Singletary for third place in the NFL among running backs in average yards per carry in 2019 in Devin Singletary's rookie year. Watch for Singletary to improve on those numbers that he already posted last season. He only played 12 games, so his numbers are definitely going to go up. And honestly, I expect Singletary to be a leader on this team and somebody who's going to be mentoring Zach Moss, showing him a lot of the ins and outs that he learned from Frank Gore last season. I'm excited to see what Singletary brings to the table. I think he's the next great running back in Buffalo. Finally, I've gotten to the last breakout candidate on the Buffalo Bills for 2020, and it's none other than Josh Allen, number 17, our quarterback. Heading into his third NFL season at the age of 24, expect Allen to be fired up, improved, and excited with a lot of motivation. Allen has already demonstrated that he is a dual threat quarterback who can run the ball exceptionally well. 
but a big question mark surrounding him is his accuracy. His accuracy, I believe, isn't that much of a problem. Bringing Stefan Diggs is going to be a huge stepping stone for improving this. He's going to have Diggs, Brown, Beasley, other options as well. Dawson Knox, who I expect to be a breakout candidate. We've got all these guys, all these weapons. There is no more excuses for Josh Allen this year. A lot of people question Allen's decision making because of moves like the um, lateral behind the back in the Houston playoff game. That just shows you how much he wants to win to me. In his first five games of last season, he had five interceptions he threw. The rest of the season, he only threw two more. That shows you how much his decision making has really improved. He learned from those first five weeks and he said, man, I gotta improve this, clean it up quick. And that's exactly what he did. Josh Allen's demonstrated that he, he's improving every single time he steps on the field and that's all you can ask from him. Expect this season to be a breakout season, especially because of all the weapons he's surrounded with. This is the year Josh Allen breaks out. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the other videos on the Bills Bunker. I have reaction videos, other Buffalo Bills videos. I also have another channel. It's called Maple Leafs Media. It's all about the Toronto Maple Leafs hockey team. Link to that is in the description below, so check that out. Thank you for watching.